good morning. Good morning. Um, I moved my yoga mat into the living room because um, I'm about to do my morning practice and it occurred to me that this might be helpful to you. Um, but I wanted to stay by the fire and because it, it was just really cozy. So um, my studio is a little bit colder. So here's why I'm doing this right now. And in general, like why I often talk to you from the early morning hours, but specifically today, uh, is that often in yoga therapy and even just in yoga, we uh, talk about the Ayurveda clock. We talk about, and just a lot of texts in my sleep research, talk about rising early, going to bed early on the, the other side, but then rising early. And what the heck are we supposed to do with our time? So, okay, so I rose early. What am I supposed to do, Cammie? And so, um, so I thought I would just show you some of what I do. So I've already talked about um, like the ice thing where you put an ice cube in a, an old soft cloth and put that on your face. Um, I have had a hot beverage. I'm finishing up my first hot beverage. I'll have more later. You're welcome. Um, of course, meditating, breathing, just being, you know, that's one of the best skills that we can cultivate within ourselves is the ability simply to be. And we, you know, we can hear it described as emptying our minds. It, it does feel a little bit like that for me now, but I couldn't have that as a goal. I couldn't like try it. I couldn't tell myself successfully, can we empty your mind? It, it just, our minds don't work that way. It's more, um, it's more cleaning up, clearing out, processing through. A lot of that is somatic work. A lot of it is thought work, breath work, simply practicing, practicing, practice, pointing my mind where I would like it to go. And then over time, for, you know, for me, it was years. It may not take that long for you. But now it's like I wake up, I'm in peace, I slept well. This morning there was a full moon, so I could just look at the full moon. And I can say that I wasn't really having any thoughts at that time. I was just noticing, oh, the moon the full moon. And I guess my thoughts were along the lines of, yes, we had Lunar New Year. I guess it must have been a couple weeks ago now. Is that how that works? <laughs> I don't know very much about the moon or Lunar New Year, but um, yeah, so I guess my thoughts were like that, but mostly I was just noticing the moon and there was kind of a mist and it's still dark out. So it's like, but I'm now I'm focusing on this. So I, I, don't, I don't wanna talk too much about what's going outside because we are gonna do a practice together inside. So I'm giving you examples of what the heck am I gonna do from four to six? You know, uh, yeah. 
and I just had the thought. So four o'clock, do you mean I'm supposed to set my alarm for four o'clock? You'll have to see what works for you. I don't set my alarm. I have lived without an alarm for decades. Um, if I am catching a flight or if I happen to have like some early morning thing that I have to be awake for, I'll set an alarm basically as kind of a backup just to make sure. But I, I just get up, I just wake up. But you'll, you, honestly, my sleep research and experience tells me that it's not so much the mornings we have to focus on in terms of waking up, it's the prior night. Think about that for a second, but I'm gonna, that's a whole other topic. I am giving a workshop on that soon. So, um, yeah, it's a whole thing and I'm writing a book about it. But anyway, so let's come into what a yoga therapist and health coach does as a practice during the wee hours. So come on into a seated position where you feel comfortable. Cats and dogs tend to really like it when we are in this state. So just know that. But come into a way that you feel comfortable. I am comfortable sitting on the floor like this. You can be in a chair. You can do a lot of this in your bed. Sometimes when I first wake up, I actually meditate in my bed. Sometimes I pray in the morning. Sometimes I listen, just listen. And breathe. Draw both shoulders up towards your earlobes. Keep breathing, hold your shoulders up. Hold your shoulders, don't hold your breath. Hold. Relax your jaw, relax your brow. Breathe, hold. Keep breathing normally, slowly let gravity win. Gravity starts to win, breathe. Shoulders slowly come down, breathe. Release, release. Take your left ear towards your left shoulder. Your chin also comes down and then your left shoulder meets your ear a little bit and breathe. Notice. Notice the two sides of your neck. Relax your brow. Let there be more space in the back of your mouth. Breathe in and out through your nose. Breathe and hold.
slowly, slowly release. Let gravity start to win. Head comes up, shoulder comes down. Pause and notice. Notice especially your two side shoulders. Second side, right ear comes down. Chin also goes towards that direction. Right shoulder comes up and breathe. Release, release, release. Take both shoulders back. You can place your hands on the floor if that would feel nice, or just leave them where they are. Both shoulders back. Open your heart towards the sky and breathe. Don't tip your head back. It's not like, um, you know, when you're getting your hair cut and your head's in that bowl. It's not like that. That's actually a tremendous amount of load for your neck. It's more just coming from your heart. Your chin may come up into space, but it's not about getting your head back there. Breathe. and then come up to center. Next will be a forward fold. I'm gonna do my forward fold from a sitting position. Um, and I'll probably come down on my back later, but you can do your forward fold simply by being on your back and that, and that would be hugging your knees in. That's, it's the same thing, you know, just a different relationship with gravity. So. From a sitting position, walk your fingers, either if you're in a chair, walk them down, your legs come into a forward fold. If you're sitting on the floor, walk your fingers along the floor. If you're on your back, slowly draw your knees towards your chest. Come into whatever forward fold feels good for you right now and breathe. Slowly undo, undo, come back to your starting point and breathe. If you're on your back, have your knees bent, take both knees towards one side. Could be a little bit, could be a little bit more. Coming into a twist. Sitting up, find a way of twisting your torso. I like to have my legs in windmill because my opposite hip can come up in space. You find what feels good for you. Twist your torso, come into a twist and breathe. It doesn't have to be like really dramatic. 
And then often when I'm in a twist, because I've kind of got my torso in a little bit of traction, I like to take my chin side to side. And my eyes the other way. and notice. Excuse me. And then come into second side, however you're gonna do that. The two sides might be quite different. Another thing I like to do when I'm in, well, a twist in kind of every position is that I sneak in little pelvic tilts. It just feels really good for me. It releases my back. Um, but just never do anything that hurts. And you're never like trying to force it. It's, it's an invitation. It's like your body is your best friend. When you're visiting and you're talking about interesting subjects. Gently undo. I'm gonna move the camera a little bit because I think my husband is awake and he will not want to be on camera. So come on down. Come on down. I think we'll come to our backs. Come under your back if you're not already there. And just notice. Notice, notice. Maybe come into a little bit of pelvic tilting, arching. This is somatic arch and flatten. You don't have to be on your back either. You could, you could be still doing this in your chair as you wish. Pick up your right leg, bring the outside of your right ankle on top of your left leg, just below the knee. Make sure your foot has completely cleared. Take the heels of your hands right where your legs come into your torso. You're not pushing your knees away. You're just creating space, a little bit of traction for your low back. See what it's like to do this while keeping your shoulders relaxed. You are using your arm muscles, but you don't have your shoulders way up by your ears. Your shoulders are relaxed, a little bit of traction. Release the heels of your hands. Draw your right arm through the hole in the number four that you've made, or in some other way, draw your knees towards your chest, but keep the back of your head on the floor and breathe. You can rock side to side. You can really do anything here, rotate your ankles, as long as your head stays on the floor. And release back to center. Release your hands, left foot comes down, right foot meets it. Pause and notice. Mm -hmm. 
Notice especially your two legs, the right side of your back compared to the left side of your back. Press both feet, release. Press both feet again, keep coming up into a bridge if you want. You can engage your glutes or not, or a little bit of both. This is bridge, this is an inversion pose. Breathe. Release, release. That was for some stabilizing. And now we'll come into the second side. Pick up your left leg, put the outside of your left ankle on your right leg, just below the knee. Make sure your foot has cleared, rotate that ankle. Take the heels of your hands where your legs come into your torso and push. Release the heels of your hands. Draw your left arm through that hole in the number four, or in some other way, bring your knees closer towards your chest as long as your head stays on the floor. And again, you can rock side to side. You can rotate your ankle. Stop any extra movements, come back to center. Arms come down, right foot comes down, left foot comes down and pause. Press both feet. Release. If you want, press both feet and come into a bridge or just keep doing your foot presses. Both are great. Slowly lower. Drop both knees towards your chest. Hold anywhere on your legs that you want as long as your head stays on the floor. Your legs can be bent or straight. Find a way of being here where there's ease. Ease. Your jaw is relaxed, your brow is relaxed. You feel happy, you feel good. Ways of doing this, if this does not feel good this morning, could be uh, having your feet on a chair or on a wall, having your legs up the wall. And they don't have to be at this angle, they could be like that. <clears throat> if you're in a chair, you can be sending your legs out to whatever degree you want. Similar idea, we're just, we're exploring the length of our limbs, noticing. Breathing. If you're on your back, be sure to keep your head on the floor and don't introduce any tension or aggravation in what you're doing. This is like that forward fold we did. Slightly different shape. When you're ready, gently undo.
press your feet. Pelvic tilts as you wish. Take both knees towards one side, another little twist here. So if you're in a chair, simply come into another twist and notice. How does your twist feel now? slowly roll to one side. Stay here for about 10 seconds. Gently make your way back up. Come back to whatever position you started in. And breathe and notice. You can have your hands down, hands at your heart, self-compassion hands, whatever you'd like, and breathe. Rub your palms together, rub them together, generate a little heat here, and then place your palms over your eyes. Release your palms, put your fingers on your head, and tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, tap. Wherever you are. Tap, boop, 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 boop. Pat, pat, tap, as you wish. And whenever you're complete with that, then shake out your fingers. Whew. Come back. Notice. This is your natural state. This is your birthright. <laughs> this is a way that you can wake up in the morning. Thank you for sharing this time with me and I will see you soon.